hello everyone welcome back to another video this is the first vlog in a while and i kind of feel like i've forgotten how to do it but you know we'll get through it today i'm going to be doing an exam day vlog because today is my first exam of third year it is tuesday i don't know what the date is what's the date it's tuesday the 7th of january and um, this is the first time doing the um essay exams that i've talked about in previous vlogs and i am feeling nervous so yeah i just thought i'd vlog today give you like an insight on what i do um on these awful awful days the exam i, I have today isn't until 6 p.m so that's great I hate, I hate late exams, I hate them, I'd much rather have it in the morning, get it over and done with, because today all I'm going to be thinking about is how I have an exam today, and I don't want to, I don't want to like revise beforehand, because I feel like that'll skew my memory, and my brain just stops working at about five o'clock, and my exam hasn't even started by then, um, so yeah, I've had a bit of a lie-in this morning, because I didn't get a very good night's sleep last night, I don't know if it was, I don't, I wasn't consciously worried about the exam, but it might have been that like my body just knew and um, didn't go to sleep. So I've had a bit of a lie-in, so it's now 25 past 10, been getting ready, um, having breakfast, stuff like that, and I'm going to go to the gym now. I know a lot of people will probably be like, why are you going to the gym when you've got an exam later, but I just, I'd rather carry on with my normal routine. I'm not going to be revising all day because it'll make my brain just frazzled. For later on tonight so i'm just gonna do my normal thing do do the gym this is actually the first time i've been in the gym since i came back down to york on saturday um properly i've done cardio and stuff but my first proper weight session so i'm just gonna do it gym always makes me feel better anyway so yeah let's go with the gym done um i showered i mean my hair i don't know what's going on with my hair at the minute yeah i had some lunch um and now basically i've been watching tv for about an hour and a half no about an hour um i just my dilemma is because it's an exam day and my exam isn't until six o'clock i don't basically i don't want to do too much work because my brain like fries out really easily like if I do too much it'll just be by the time it gets to six o'clock it's just gonna my brain will just be like no nah, it's not happening so I think my plan is of course I'm gonna watch tv for like another 10 minutes it's now 20 to 3 I do I might wait until three o'clock then I'm just gonna do an hour of work um I'm not gonna do any like mind map that kind of stuff I'm literally gonna read through my notes um, maybe test myself on some citations again and um, I think I mentioned it before but yeah th these are essay exams so we're well, having to remember the content we have to do references so we have to remember the studies like the authors of the studies the date of the studies and then we have to kind of like formulate that into an essay so we get five questions and we have to answer two of them we get 45 minutes um, 
each on each question so the whole exam's like an hour and a half but i get extra time so i can't even i'm not even sure how much time i get but i'm gonna try and make sure that they're done in 45 minutes so i've got time to um like proofread them after with how i'm feeling this one because today is the psychology of behavioral change one on friday i have the um biological basis of developmental disorders it's at 9 a.m and that one i'm not confident for whatsoever this one was it's very much more of a like a content heavy um abstract kind of module there's not that many site references i want to say there's probably about 15 references 20 that i have to remember and i'm i'm pretty confident that i've remembered all of them apart from maybe about five um so this one's definitely definitely going to be my best one the only thing with this one is that the questions could be pretty much anything like we have no idea what kind of questions we're going to get because i have beth who was in a past video she does this one and we have no clue what kind of questions we're going to get i think they're going to be very broad and we're going to have to use stuff from like the whole module um to answer the question but we have no idea what kind of question it is so i'm just kind of what I've done is just remembered all the content because for my other one I've done it so that I've actually cut out like two lectures and forgot about those two lectures and just remembered it from there but I think in that one it'll be very specific like it'll be like the genetic side of I don't know developmental language disorder but this one I think it could be like scoping over the whole module so I've learned everything learned the citations and I'm just gonna hope that I understand what the question wants because that's what I struggle with the most like knowing what the question wants me to to say like what I what content I'm meant to put in even though sometimes it, someone else could find it really obvious I really struggle with knowing what I'm meant to put in there like if it was like tell me about this I'd be like right okay but it's it's when the questions are just a bit abstract and they're like and you're like oh so I'm just hoping the question's gonna be okay so yeah with this I'm just gonna go read pretty much all my notes again maybe practice like test myself on the references a little bit and yeah but i'm only going to do about an hour and then i think i'm just going to chill again i'm gonna it's just because it's six o'clock it's kind of like smack bang on when i normally have tea i normally have tea at like half six so i'm gonna have an early tea i think because if i'm hungry in that exam i'm not getting anything done anything so gonna have an early tea i think i'll probably have to have it like i'll have to be eaten at five probably a bit earlier because i need to leave here probably like quarter past five so yeah i need to be eaten at like quarter five oh, it's so early i mean it's so early but i just i don't want to be i don't want to be hungry in that exam because i can't think about anything when i'm hungry i'm bad with food yeah that's the plan that's the plan now exam days are pretty boring especially when they're at six o'clock i kind of feel lost a little bit like right now i'm watching tv and i'm like should i really be watching tv but i feel like it's the only thing that's going to make me not panic i'm trying not to think about the exam itself because i i do not like the structure of these exams like how they're an essay how i've got to do two questions i do not like it so i'm trying not to think about it so i don't panic myself out so yeah tv for a little bit longer and then i'll i'll go over some notes <laughs> forgot i was vlogging but i forgot to vlog um it's now 11 minutes past five and i'm just going to set off now because i'm in a different room to everyone else because obviously i need a computer so um i, I'm, I don't want to get lost essentially so i'm going to set off early um had some tea did work um had some tea watched some more tv quickly went over the references again beforehand and yeah 
So I'm on my way now. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I am feeling nervous. But, I mean, there's nothing I can do now. So I need to just calm myself down. Forget about it. On my way to uni, because I walk, I always listen to my classical music. Um, just so I don't get, like, a song stuck in my head. Because that happens with me. Like, I get things stuck in my brain so i'm just i listen to classical music so there's no words going around my head and no words to distract me so yeah i'm not probably gonna vlog because i don't i don't think it'll be light enough anywhere i'll take my cam oh no i don't think i'm gonna take my camera because we don't have anywhere to store our bags we just kind of have to put them outside the room so i don't really want anyone to steal my camera yeah i'm sorry i would take it and show you but i just don't think I'll be able to put it in a secure place. So yeah, wish me luck and I shall see you after. So I've just got back. Um, you don't have a tear stricken face. Thank the Lord. Um, it went really, really good. Um, I did not, I did not expect it to go that well at all. I'm buzzing. <laughs> like I am so, so happy. Um, as you can probably tell. Um, the questions were really, really nice, like, they were so simple, um, like, not, not, they weren't simple, like, I'm not saying that they were dead easy, they were still challenging, but, you know, it was just, like, easy to know what he wanted us to say kind of thing, and, like, there were loads of different directions you could take, but it, it was clear what they wanted, so, yeah, I'm super happy how it went I just did you know so how I was saying I tested myself on the references before I went in like before I left I just as soon as I got in there and as soon as the exam started I literally wrote down all the references and that really really helped so I'm glad I did that I'm glad I memorized all the references to be honest it's kind of made me feel even more nervous for Fridays because I know what helped with that and the stuff that helped with that I'm not going to be able to do for the one on Friday because this one only had 17 references whereas the one on um, Friday has about 80 so I'm not going to be able to go in and write down all the references because I'm not going to remember them all so it's made me feel nervous for Friday but it's made me feel better overall because I was literally before I came back to uni I was having like a breakdown with Jack genuinely thinking that I was going to fail my degree um, because of how bad I thought both of them were going to go but I think I could get away even if I do fail the one on Friday I think I could get away with it like obviously I'll not get like a good grade overall in my degree but I was genuinely worried about not even graduating so I feel a bit better I'm just hoping that some knowledge is in that brain of mine to pass on Friday so yeah I hope this was helpful this vlog I just kind of wanted I know a lot of people enjoy the uni vlog so I kind of just wanted to give like a a realistic day of what I do on exam days like I'm not gonna I wasn't gonna put anything on like I feel quite bad about my exam days because I literally do like f all because I'm trying to keep my brain relaxed and that kind of stuff so but I didn't want to put anything on and pretend that I was doing loads of revision because I'm not like it just doesn't work for me to do loads of revision on the day and of exam I'd rather just chill have my day kind of refresh myself on what I know and yeah so I hope it was useful I hope it makes someone feel better about what they do because I know it can feel really like you can feel really guilty when you see people doing loads of work and if you're not doing work so I hope hopefully it helped someone that's all I have to say really pray for me for Friday <laughs> I'm not gonna vlog that one because it's 9am like there'd be the literally it would be wake up go to an exam so yeah, wish me luck and I shall see you in the next video. Please um, like if you enjoyed the video, if it helped you in any way. And please subscribe if you're new. Um, this year is going to be my year for YouTube. I'm going to upload every single week. I'm, I promise it's going it's to happen. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one, chickpeas. Bye.